Dogwood Drive, a year old truck and a nine to five comes home at night to a pretty wife with a baby dude. He'll sleep in on Saturday, cut the grass if it don't rain. After church, he'll watch the game and have a beer too. He'll stand up when he hears the anthem and that won't ever change. He's still a soldier. His blood runs red, white, and blue. He put away his gun and boots. But he still believes the American dream. To his last breath, he'll always be a soldier. For the news at 10, he'll see those places that he's been. And when a brother falls, there's a part of him that does too. And if they call and needed him back, all oh, he'd be on that plane. He's still a soldier, his blood runs. America, land that I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above, from the mountains to the prairies to the oceans.
reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the apostles, Who among you would say to your servant, who has just come in from plowing or tending sheep in the field, Come here immediately and take your place at table. Would he not rather say to him, Prepare something for me to eat. Put on your apron and wait on me while I eat and drink. You may eat and drink when I am finished. Is he grateful to that servant because he did what was commanded? So should it be with you. When you have done all you have been commanded, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done what we were obliged to do. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today is, um, it's, the gospel today is, is a bit strange, isn't it? And um, hard to make sense of. But when I've read this before many times in my life, I think that it is a reminder to us to be humble in life. To be humble. To know that we're not perfect. To know that um, sometimes in life, uh, it, the road gets a little difficult. And that we, we do things at times because that's what we are obliged to do. We do what we have to do and we're perhaps tired or we're perhaps weary. Times like that, we humble ourselves before God and we recognize our frailty, our weakness, and our humanness. And we pray to God for strength. We lay our troubles and difficulties at the foot of the cross. And we know and look at what Jesus went through and we recognize that not every day is gonna be a perfect day. That sometimes we are a little exhausted and some days we, we barely want to get out of bed and we've all had those days and it's okay it's okay the perfect unification of mind and body and soul and spirit and physicality to go out every day and say gee whiz this is the greatest day I'm ever going to have and isn't it wonderful we just don't have those days every day sometimes we don't have them for several days in a row and uh, when it's a little gray outside that only makes it a little worse for some of us so that's really what I think the gospel is saying, that it's okay every now and then, but we just get through. I'm doing what I know I need to do, um, and I'm taking care of things, but I need a little bit of rest. Remember what the Psalm says, that in the midst of it all, trust in the Lord and do good. Trust in the Lord and do good that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take the light, delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's requests. You know, maybe on those days when we feel a little bit worn out and we feel a little compromised, maybe that psalm is what really we ought to be thinking about. Trust in the Lord and do good. An awful lot of good can be do, done in the world. And some of it doesn't really need a lot of Sometimes it's a smile, a kind word, just touching a life with goodness. Dwell in the, the, the house of the Lord, and, and there you have great wisdom for getting through a day. Not every day, and you know, and I preach about it a lot. We have, to be, we have to bring justice to the world and love and peace and all the rest of the things that Jesus talks about in the gospel, acts of faith, hope, and charity, that sort of thing. But there are some days where, like I said, we just about want to get out of bed. Um, we'll do what we need to do to keep everything afloat. On those days, meditate a little. Find a quiet corner on a gray, rainy day and pray. On a day when maybe you really don't want to do much of anything, simply take a rest. Take a rest. You know, maybe, maybe bring a rosary, say a decade or two, a decade or two and um, just kind of uh, contemplate God's love in the world. It's... it's you know, I'm always um, being up and talking about what we need to do as disciples in the vineyard of life and how we need to do this, that, and the other thing, but not every day is going to be um, commensurate with that. There are going to be days, and I've had them and you do, where I think I want to put my feet up and just kind of, as the saying goes, veg out, and, and maybe that's about it, and that's okay. We need to recharge our batteries especially as we get older, we need to think about what's important. What do I want to accomplish in the time that God has given me? And um, that looms a little bit larger. I always say to people, you know, when you're younger, 
you'll say, oh, gee whiz, last year went awfully fast. Where did that good year go? Where did this go? Gee whiz, this week went fast. And all of a sudden you arrive at a much later time in life and you think, where did that decade go? Where did my 20s go? Where did my 30s go? And so on and so forth. That's when you really begin to think. And that's when you really need a rest. That's when you really need to put your feet up and say, oh boy, time is passing. What am I going to do from here on? What are my goals? How am I going to best be a child of God, a disciple out in the world when not every day is going to be just filled with endless energy, much as it once might have been? Take care, my friends. Sometimes we just need to get through the day, but know that God walks with you all the days of your life. God does not expect us to be Superman and Superwoman every single day, but to recharge and know that the love of God is always there for us to cling to. Take care and God bless. And now, my friends, as we have shared the word of God together, I invite you to spend time with me in front of the Blessed Sacrament as we share our spiritual prayer of communion. Friends, we now invite you to spend some time in adoration before the Blessed Sacrament in the Tabernacle. We usually uh, follow up my reflections and my, um, my gospel reflections with this time. And uh, so often I will say to you, uh, pray and reflect on a psalm or on some of the words of the gospel, something Jesus says or a parable. This is a great time to do that. And so join me now as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And my friends, as you spend time before the Lord, may he bless you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy these moments of private prayer and reflection.